Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you current book that I'm reading. It's really something I like. It's called The Simplified Encyclopedia Introducing the Prophet of Mercy and that is our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Please and blessings be upon him. So why is this book such a good read for me, right? If you read this book called The Silk Nectar, it's the biography of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It's his life story in here. And this book basically extracts the main essence of what the silk nectar is trying to say to you and organizes them into various aspects of his attributes, his personality, his mannerism, how he conducted war, how he instilled peace within the Arab community, how he treated his loved ones, his family members, his ummah, how he united the Arab community and also covers his life story in greater detail. So by reading this book, you get a better understanding of how he lived his life through the Quran as well, inshallah. So, let me just share with you a bit about the contents. Chapter 1, you learn about Prophet Muhammad Wasallam personality. Chapter 2, about him being a human being. Chapter 3, on his life. Chapter 4, his character. Chapter 5, how he treat others, his attitude towards his companions, towards women, towards children, his relatives, his neighbors, and even to the hypocrites. How he instilled peace, how he conducted war, his etiquettes in war as well. How he dealt with his enemies. And chapter 7, you learn about how he changed his ummah, social changes, economic changes, political changes, scientific and cultural changes that he made. How he basically become a mercy to the world. And another thing I'd like you to take note is that in the book, they have references from the Quran as well as the hadith of the beloved Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Let me just read to you an extract of the first chapter. Among the other key elements significantly affecting the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, peace and blessing upon him, upbringing was the death of his father. In the early stages of his mother's pregnancy, his mother also passed away when he was almost six years old. Due to these events, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu peace and blessings be upon him, grew up as an orphan who went through the pain of losing both parents and their invaluable kindness. That pain made him more aware of the noble, humane emotions then and filled his heart with mercy and compassion for orphans and all those who experienced suffering. The Quran depicts this expressively in the following verses. You can find this in Surah Al-Duha, chapter 93, verse 6 to 10. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Did he not find you an orphan and gave you refuge? And he found you lost and guided you? And he found you poor and made you self-sufficient? So as for the orphan, do not oppress him. And as for the petitioner, do not repel him. An account of the same care and love for the Prophet Moses as a newborn baby is also provided in the Quran. You can find this in Surah Taha, chapter 20, verse 39 to 41. The young Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, began his first days in the arid desert where the tribe of Bani Zaid lived and stayed there until he reached his fourth year of age. As a result, he grew up physically stalwart, healthy, and fluent in the purest Arabic dialect, and possessed great courage. In the early days of his youth, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu peace and blessings be upon him, worked as a shepherd. The influence of shepherding on him was notable as it surrounded him with the atmosphere of calmness that is necessary for the refinement of a noble spirit. Moreover, it instilled in him the virtues of patience, forbearance, farsightedness, caution, and mercy. Mercy is one of Allah's attributes, and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu peace and blessings be upon him, was renowned for possessing it, so much so that he became known as the epithet, the Prophet of Mercy. Once more, authentic traditions made known to us that all prophets without exception worked as shepherds for certain periods of their lives, as in the Hadith Al-Bukhari 2262. Allah did not send any prophet but shepherded sheep. His companions asked him, Did you do the same? The Prophet replied, Yes. I used to shepherd the sheep of the people Mecca for some kirats, and this basically is a fraction of a dinar or dirham. We are witness to a systemized educational process by which intertwined spatial, temporal, and personal circumstances were engineered for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu peace and blessings be upon him to undergo, thus creating that unique, superb human model. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu peace and blessings be upon him. Next. Chapter goes on to describe his physical attributes, his facial features, and his height. So, I leave you with these few words that I've read from the book. Inshallah, if you like to get this book, you can find it on my Instagram bio. 
just go click on uh, link tree and you see that this book the simplified encyclopedia of the prophet muhammad peace and blessing upon him is there if you'd like to get a copy pre-order them by filling up the form and inshallah i'll get them to you as soon as possible when there are stocks available All right so hope you have a beautiful day ahead inshallah assalamualaikum warahmatullahi